you know in your writings i've observed especially in the wake of you know events like uh, dismantling global hindutva where there is a definitional debate that hinduism is different and hindutva is different and this debate has been going on for a while now what you try to say is you try to understand indic history through the lens of hindutva um so how would you suggest that we hindus mainstream uh, these narratives um and move away from colonial uh, imperatives and perspectives i think hindus are doing that i think that what we see in india today is like a big uh, revolt of hindus trying to to get their voice listened and after so long oppression Right. but there's still a lot of disunity i think the the main issue in the hindu community is that they are not united right like right. hindus are divided not only by caste but by the pant the different pants like the vaishnavas they don't accept the shaivas and the shaivas don't accept the vaishnavas and so on so these kind of divisions they are good in theology Right. It's, it's good that you have your proper theology defined in your concept but in in daily life we need to to evaluate that these divisions can harm us right and politics and society in general and that's what i see in india that hindus they don't uh it's changing now right that i'm very glad i think that we are very are uh, fortunate to live in this area that we can see these changes happening because you imagine 10 years ago it was impossible even to think about right like so it, it's like happening and i'm very excited for what's coming up uh, but yeah we have a, a huge challenges now that uh, they can right. turn the table politically so oh, yeah, they are creating a lot of narratives for that. that yeah i think that we we need to unite as as like we need to see beyond our differences so right. because varnashram dharma is is completely hindu society not only brahmins like like the meat and vegetarian debate like uh, i see these in in some posts that i made i'm pure vegetarian I don't eat any kind of meat and this is one of things that dharma inspired me the most. Right. But I can't impose vegetarianism and all society and this is is in dharmic like right. there are tribal communities that they thrive on hunting and it's part of their culture their heritage their dharma so it's not about us to impose on our values like a brahminicals do like we can't go on this rampage on like vegans and try to impose a uh, vegetarianism that doesn't make sense but even so we also need to to be aware like the halal that many hindus that eat meat they eat in halal that it's very non dharmic it's like right. you it's the worst way of killing an animal so it's not if at least follow dharma if you want to eat meat at least uh eat uh not uh cruel meat like so uh, this kind of changes are very slow in society like if you see in the history the first slaughter house in india from british raj to now there is a growing market for meat in india and uh this is something that we can contrabalance but we can't impose right our morality please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel for our other social media links more content and to support our work please visit citti.net dhanyawad namaskar